Welcome in everybody, we've got Conference Finals Game 1, Finches at Pharaohs. The Pharaohs lead the season series 2-1, to one, but the Finches beat us 9-3 to three at home. Uh, also at the bottom of the screen you can see the Ego, which is the difficulty in Super Mega 4. Uh, we bumped that up 1 point to 86. Now taking a look at the lineup for today. We put in Ismail Adams in place of the rattled Chris Pruitt because he's juiced, so that's pretty perfect timing. Thunder Matthews would have been the preferred person to take out as he is also tense, but we're going to have to hope that he can bat through it. Withers Skinner is also tense, but he should be okay. I feel like he's going to get back to neutral pretty quickly because he's been hitting home runs and doubles pretty well so far, so... I think he'll be fine. Uh, Freddie Burnside, Philip Reyes locked in still, and Carter Von Wolf on the mound. So let's open up the series. Finch is at Pharaohs here at Sakura Hills, representing Japan, which is where I am located actually. And the Finches look pretty good. I just saw their roster. They have one locked in, or rather one on fire mojo, this guy. And then I think they had three locked in and a juiced as well. So lots of good uh, stat boosts for them. Part of Run Wolf having a tough playoff so far. 8.44 ERA, earned run average. Uh, 1.88 whip, that's walks and hits per inning pitched, and six strikeouts so far, and I think two starts. Nice first pitch there. Does have the uh, maxed out elite slider, so. And hopefully we get that working for him today. Maybe right here. He's pretty pumped, nice. Looks like he's ready to go, and Colton Rogers also ready to go, juiced, and also has the tough out, hitting 500 in these playoffs so far. Strike one. Strike two, and... Oh, foul. No immaculate inning, unfortunately. Ball one, just high. And strike three, Von Wolf strikes out the first two batters of this series. And that brings up Peter McCann, the B-plus right fielder for the Finches. Hung the slider a bit, but it's right to Freddie Burnside, and that's an easy 1-2-3 inning for your Pharaohs. Two up is Ismail Adams, Nicole Colombo, and Bryn Young. Ismail Adams with his first at-bat of these playoffs. Does have the consistent trait. And like I said, he's juiced, so nice stat boosts all around for him. Ball one. Popped up high on the broken bat foul ball, but just in bounds and the catcher was able to make out number one. Nicole Colombo, the hero of these playoffs so far. She is, I believe, third in playoff MVP voting at the minute, at the moment. That might hang up a little bit too long, and yeah, Aiden Murillo, the two-way center fielder, able to get under that for out number two. Ren Young, the third base woman, comes in with low pitch. Take strike one looking. One and two here. Low pitch, and that is also slapped right to shortstop, just like the Finches. So one, two, three innings both ways, and looks like we've got a defensive battle on our hands here. Brooke Perez comes up, B plus left fielder who is locked in. 258 average, two home runs, eight RBIs already. 
First pitch low in the dirt. Second pitch, right to Wither Skinner, and he makes it an easy out, number one. Jacoby apparently is how he pronounces Jacoby. And that was a very dangerous shot right past Carter Von Wolf, but manages to get out of the way just in time. But that's the first hit of the day, and the Finches are on first. And stealing second. The throw is not in time. Freddie Burnside doesn't get over quick enough. Or rather, the throw didn't get there quick enough. And yeah, massive speed on second now. And that might get a run home. It will. So the Finch is with an early 1-0 lead after the steal and lightning wheels on that base runner. Marley Dean comes up. And another steal. Can we make the double play? We can! Just in time, and the Pharaohs end the inning with a nice double play. 5-4-3, and here we go. Bottom of the second. Some of the big sluggers coming up with Freddie Burnside and Withers Skinner, followed by Thunder Matthews. Man, feels like it's been forever since we've been in Sakura Hills as well. I think the last time I played here was before... Before the end of July, I think? Chopped weekly, too short, and that's out number one. There's Skinner with a high pitch and off-speed hitter. That's a little bit too high. Oh, that one was just about right. And whiffs. I believe that's the first strikeout of the day for this pitcher, which is Lennon Phillips, by the way. 2.76 ERA. 1.16 whip, 4 strikeouts, including the one we just had. And back to back, 1, 2, 3 innings. So the Pharaohs yet to get on base. And the Finch is looking good early here. Jackson Davila, the 8 spot hitter. Comes to the plate with Little Hack. Hangs the curve, but he's a bit early on it, and it's fouled off. Oh, just inside. That looked good to me. Yet another hit weekly to Wither Skinner for out number one. Second inning in a row for that. And Dorian Arellano comes to the plate, the catcher. Strike one. Philip Arreyes runs over and tosses it to first for out number two. The center field, number 49, Aiden Morelia. Man, this, uh, <laughs> this Sakura Hills Stadium announcer is having a tough time with these Finch's names. Aiden Murillo. Should be Aiden Murillo, I believe. Takes ball one. And Aiden Murillo slides it up the middle of the field and into center field for a single. Second baseman, number 32, Colton Rogers. Colton Rogers, the left fielder. 
Very good contact. Decent power. A lot of speed on these finches too. Even the slow guys are fast enough to uh, steal bases potentially. The Skinner scoops up his third unassisted out of the day. And the Pharaohs come back up with another chance for Dean Thunder. 789 coming up. And that is hit to third, and a nice diving play. And Dean Thunder is injured. Let's see what happened to him. Injury report says... Tweaked groin. Oof. You hate to see that. Let's see what the uh, determination is. Okay, not too bad. He is strained, and that means we're going to have to get in... The one and only Nickel Proctor. But that does put a bit of a dent in the lineup for the hitting for the Pharaohs today. And going forward in this series. Now in the game, Nickel Proctor! Proctor does have a little bit of a better arm though from behind the plate. Maybe that'll help a little bit with the Steelers. Philippa Reyes flies out to right, and Trevor Rasmussen trying to be the first Pharaoh on base today. Can't do it, and that's three perfect innings for the Finches. Pharaoh's really struggling to get anything done from the plate right now. But still half the game left, a lot of baseball left, so maybe we can shake off the rust. Get something going. Only down one, so... Still have a great chance. Strikeout! Carter Von Wolf with his third or fourth? Third, I believe, of the day. Let's go down and in two seamer. No dice. Curve ball in the dirt. Followed back. High fastball swung on and missed. And the kill shot. Oh, doesn't go. Check swing for ball two. Curve ball just gets past Freddie Burnside. So a one-out single for the Finches, and that brings up Jacoby Rowland, or Rowland, who is basically max stats right now. He's the one that got around the bases so quickly for the Finches' only run. Let's see if we can get him out at the plate. Ooh. Von Wolf tosses the first to try to sneakily get the uh, leading runner. Oh, right down the middle. And Roland misses it. Curveball hung up. And gets him. Strikeout number four. Hunter Von Wolf looking quite good. His slider is striking him out quite well. Not this time though, as Philippa Reyes unable to get over to the ball and it slips into right field for a two out single. Ellie Dean, another pretty good hitter here, and lots of speed on the bases. Runners on first and second, two outs, and a 1-0, or 1-0, I watch too much soccer. 1-0 lead for the Finches. Double steal! Oh, not in time, how? That looked in time to me. But both runners advance 90 feet, and two runners in scoring position, though. And that's going to get them both home, isn't it? 
two out rally and a two out double for the Finches. It's looking pretty dire here. Harrow's now down 3-0 and yet to get a hit on the day. Carter Von Wolf as well just fell down into the tense mojo. So losing a bit of movement on his ball, on his pitches now. That might be enough though. Michael Proctor turns around, makes it out number three. But the Finches with a two out rally managed to get another two runs home and the Pharaohs are in trouble here in game one of this conference final. Oh man. And a three pitch strikeout there, Ismail Adams. Had a perfect pitch to hit on uh, strike number two and just whiffed it. Nicole Colombo though has rally starter active. Big chance here for her. And that was a good one to hit. That one not so much. It's gonna be flight out to left field for out number two. A little bit impatient here, but he is giving me a lot of good pitches, just the timing is not quite right. Possibly this bump up in Ego, or the fact that I haven't played in a week. Ball two? Man, just way off. And again. That was a ball. Also a ball, need to take a minute here. Ah, let it all out. Okay. Hit well, but in foul territory. That one's better, but straight to the right fielder. The Finches have a no-hitter going and a three-run lead going into the fifth inning here. Not even a no-hitter, a perfect game. Carter Von Wool, 53 pitches. He's done all right, um, so we can probably keep him in. At least for this batter, the number nine hole hitter. Yeah, there we go, strikeout, and gets his mojo back. Let's see, might go to the pen here, try to keep it close though. Gonna give the ball to Magnus Lyons, I think. We want to keep any runs off the board, give ourselves a chance to get this comeback going. Yeah, Magnus Lyons, if you haven't seen him, just filthy, filthy movement on his pitches. Oh, Bryn Young. Great diving play, good throw, but just a little bit low, and Wither Skinner unable to dig it out. Probably actually counted as an error. Well, that was a pretty tough play, so a little bit harsh. And Magnus Lyons, first two... Uh, First two hitters he faces get on base. Out number two, but two runners in scoring position yet again. Ray Burnside able to make the play and the Pharaohs get out of the jam. Two chances left for the Pharaohs, down three here. Still hitless. Pretty Burnside looking to do something about that. Hit very high and another fly out. Just not quite right with the timing and contact, which is, I guess, everything. <laughs> Bad, 
Bad swing there. And yet another three pitch strikeout. Now this guy's thrown 44 pitches through four and two thirds. There's the hit. No, no, no for him today. And actually, Thunder Matthews does manage to get out of tense mojo and back to neutral, so. That's pretty big for him, but let's see if the Pharaohs can actually get something going here with already two outs. Thunder Matthews does have good speed and a stealer trait. Ooh. Good eye. Oh, the pitch out. And that gets him easily, and his mojo's back down. Yikes. Read like a book there from the Finches. And yeah, Pharaoh's just not doing anything right today. Freddie Burnside sticks an arm out and snags it. Out number one. Not this time though, as it's hit right past Magnus Lyons up the middle. Now back, third baseman number five, Harley D. Yeah, not too many runs today, but Finch is getting on base quite a bit. Oh, strikes are out looking. Nice pitch there from Magnus Lyons. And hopefully facing his last batter of the day. Well, hopefully not, maybe. Extra innings might be the best situation for us. Alright, Pharaoh's here. Could be a short game. Nickel Proctor, oh man. Yikes, so one hit on the day. We have as many errors as hits, and we've got 7, 8, 9 coming up to tie it from three runs down. Oh, big hit there. Nickel Proctor sends it back, but not even to the warning track, and that's out number one. Philip Reyes, still locked in from the last series. First pitch low, but it's her swinging. Chopped to second for out number two, and yep, this is looking like a shutout. Trevor Rasmussen, can you have anything to say about that? No, you cannot. And the Finches dominate game one, 3-0 with a one-hit performance from the Pharaohs. Pretty embarrassing home display there. And we will be looking to move on to the next game very quickly. Carter Von Wolf takes the L, but not a terrible performance from him, honestly. Just Phillips was uh, undeniable. Lennon Phillips, Gusto Miller, and Harley Dean, your three Finches of the game. And the Cavalry make a statement in Game 1. The Seven Seeds both getting it done in Game 1. And a shutout win and an 11-1 win. So statements from both teams, honestly.
but we will have Baylor Giles, our ace on the mound, versus Musty Andrews, who's a decent pitcher. And the Pharaohs looking to get a little bit more done next time. So I will see you there. Thanks for watching.